Hello! Today, I feel like playing Magical Cat Adventure for the Arcades. Why? Just because. I don't know, this game, in all honesty, it's very generic, nothing super special about it. But it's one of those games that back then, especially in the year, I don't know, 2001, when I was looking up for games for me, for me to, to play on the emulator, there weren't so many platformers. I mean, for the most part, you found shoot em ups, some beat em ups, but not very. No, not that many platformers. Okay, this is definitely not Sonic. And at that time, even though I was expanding my my tastes in games, not just focusing on platformers and Mortal Kombat, but also giving some love to shoot them ups, beat them ups as well, which I kind of ignored a lot as a kid. I started to develop more of a liking towards them as I was growing up. Did I get hurt by the chest? Well, anyway, in that search for games that could potentially be interesting for me to play, I can stomp enemies, so these cats cannot do Mario's. No, even though they kill them, those jumps actually kill the enemies, you get hurt in the process as well. What is this? Well, you can notice that this cat is magical because he can shoot different types of projectiles. And regular cat doesn't do that, right? Which makes this one a magical one. So, uh, yeah, in the search for, for different games, this game actually uh, appeared a lot in the, in the, in the suggestions. Dagger again. Okay, I clearly remember taking at least two hits, and now I have full health again. Maybe the heart actually replenish replenishes all of your health, not just one hit point. So yeah, this game appeared often, and it looked appealing to me basically because it was an, a platformer for the arcade that most likely never seen or played before. Well, since then it's been pretty much 20 years. And I think I've seen this game in action twice because of the Twitch arcade game streamers that play pretty much everything there is. Everything that exists. Okay, this might look like the best weapon I've gotten yet. Moving lily pads. Will they sink? They're moving too much for my taste. Okay, this is quite generous with the health they give you back. You know what? Let's ignore that. Well, of course, I decide to leave a weapon that I do not want to get in the boss arena. I'm unable to shoot upwards. That definitely would have made this game a lot better. Even though this is not quite a platform... I mean, yes, it is a platformer technically, but... It would have counted more as a run and gun. Because regular platformers don't allow you to shoot very often. I mean, they do, but it's not a typical feature. The music actually reminds me a lot of the title games from late 80s and beginning 90s. I have to damage the enemy as much as I can, but with such a time to react to the attacks, there's not much that I can do. Dude, dead again. How much health does this fucker have? I guess I'll be able to continue and create fit through this. Okay, I continue with the same weapon at least. That's very... Ghosts and Goblins, like... 
I guess I have to get better at dodging attacks. I mean, so far this guy's been showing three different attack patterns. I got lucky there. Not gonna lie. Okay, now he died a lot faster. So yeah, this game it's kind of a title that I wanted to try out like 20 years ago. Obviously, as you can see here, nothing really great about it. But hey, it's a platformer run and gun game for the arcade that came out in 93. At a time where Mario and Sonic, of course, were the trendy thing, and Mega Man as well. Maybe we can include Bobsy in the in the bunch. As far as mascots is concerned. So at least this game is there, it exists. And in one way or another, I'm enjoying it, because I enjoy platformers in general. Please don't make this a maze. I see different... Wait a minute. Oh, look at this weapon. Oh my god. I said the double shot was the best so far. Okay, th don't be like greedy really fuck. I increased my health containers. Yeah, this looks like some badass weapon. Wait, okay, I literally didn't touch. Or I, I stepped on the little pixel that where the spikes wouldn't hurt me. Well thought. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that was something weird about those platforms. They were either gonna crumble or rise because of the lava. Okay, seriously, I have to avoid entirely the chests. Yes, I am definitely continuing. Are you gonna make me start from the beginning? No. It saves checkpoints. Okay. Automatically, a good game on my book. Yeah, it's based on checkpoints. Not the biggest fan of it. Okay, suddenly some ice cave. Actually, no, it's just a regular cave. Well, there are penguins. Should be ice, but a little bit of a slippery floor. Dude, I want the double shot or the big magical cat face shot. Speaking of which. So this uh, health increase is permanent, apparently. It's an upgrade that will last at least this entire credit. I don't know if it continues um, after you continue your game. I think it, it did continue. Probably. Yeah, a little bit of a slippery floor. Oh, what is this? More health? No, it just refills your... Your current health doesn't upgrade it. Well, I actually, I believe I owe you an explanation about what happened with the Metal Slug 7 uh, gameplay videos. I said I was going to continue with stage 5 and then tried it a couple more times at Dragon. Alright, this is a little bit of a downgrade. It could have seemed like it was going to be an awesome weapon. I mean, it might be useful maybe, but... Well, I was gaining some speed. The Bobsy effect. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. I guess this is better than the dragon, I don't know. I mean, I have to see how effective it is against enemies, especially bosses. I did it again. Yeah, it looks like... That definitely looked like a crumble floor. Oh, that, that, that looks new. Oh no, never mind. It looked like a fighter shot, a fighter regular shot, but no. It is literally just a regular shot. Now, damage-wise, maybe they do 
make differences. Maybe the dragon has the best angle for shooting, or the, the, the worst. Oh, but okay, this is new bombs. Let's see how useful the bombs are against the boss. Hmm. It seems effective at least because it's shooting the head, which is the weak point. And I'm keeping my distance. Okay, I was about to say I don't need to jump. Hard to predict. Oh, I won. Beat the level. I'm the best. So yeah, uh, I decided to just move on from Metal Slug Seven because I I would I, I wouldn't see myself beating or going beyond stage five. I mean, it probably will require lots of trial and error, but honestly, it wasn't even a real playthrough. Maybe I will have to cheat, like get infinite credits or something. Which... I'd rather save for the other versions. Okay, the bomb is definitely not good against... enemies that run on the floor, like this one. I like the variety of stages that this game is offering. Yeah, I know, super generic, like any other platformer out there. Start in a forest, then go to the caves, now in a pirate ship. But I like it. I like the, the uh, how fast-paced it is. I mean, even for a platformer, this is also an arcade game. Fast-paced. Short levels. I mean, if a game like this was applied on, on Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, of course they would have a million levels per world, with seven or eight worlds, making it super long and probably tedious. This one is fast-paced, so it's got the spirit of an arcade game after all. Difficulty-wise, it is quite fair so far. Dude, I can't believe the chests, which are supposed to be the good things, hurt you in this game. Oh, that wasn't solid? My ass. Yeah, I'm out of lives. But I guess I can continue infinitely, so let's see how far I can actually get. Alright, the dragon hasn't been as satisfying as one might predict. Oh, boss already, huh? Pirate cat. Holy shit! Look at those abilities. So let's see how good this is damage wise. Uh, yeah, I'm br brute forcing through it. I got him? Well, that didn't require so much effort on my end. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be um, a good uh, part for me, so I'll see you next time with more Magical Cat Adventure. Let's see if we can make actually more progress here.